You know, those of us who are in leadership positions and actually have offices and think we run the office need to pause more often than not to thank our so-called administrative assistants and support staff, those unsung heroes that really make what we do possible. I reflect on my experience with Delta Airlines. I'm at the highest platinum diamond status, and yet I've never met the CEO or the board of directors. My entire impression and relationship with Delta Airlines is making a reservation on a telephone with someone whom I will never meet, a gate agent, and once I board the aircraft, my interaction with that flight attendant. Yes, it's the support staff. It's the maintainers in the United States military that take care of the planes that allow the pilots to fly them and do what is necessary in the profession of arms. Having said that, I want to pay tribute to one of my administrative assistants who's so much more than that and see if you can relate. At one point in my career, I had six offices in the States and one up in Canada, Oakville, Ontario, seven offices in North America. And as a businessman, I finally realized it's not how much money you make, it's how much you take home. So I decided to consolidate my entire operation into one office. And I decided I needed to hire a woman to run my life. They do it anyway, I might as well pay them to do it. And I found this magnificent woman by the name of Laura Calchera. And as we started to work together, my mantra in the office was, no one works for me, they work with me. We're building this together. And after two months, our relationship was so extraordinary. One day I said, Laura, I want you to have your own calling card, your own business card, so you can pass it around anywhere you are in your social circles and be proud of what we're building together. She said, great idea, but what's my title? I said, I don't care, make one up. She ordered her business cards. 10 days later, my staff is out to lunch. I wander into my office and there sitting on her desk is a box. Out of curiosity, I lifted up the box and yes, they were her business cards. And her business card said, Laura Calchera, Supreme Commander. Ha, so as leaders, what would happen to the morale of your entire operation? If you changed what you referred to each other as, instead of administrative assistants, they're team members. You know, when we go to Disneyland or Disney World, we are not customers, we are guests. And an employee at Disneyland or Disney World is not an employee, they are characters playing a part to make sure that they deliver an extraordinary customer experience that we will never forget. I challenge you, to give your so-called administrative assistants and support staff a shot in the arm, a pat on the back, a more than thank you that will allow them to believe that they're as equally as important as everybody else on your team so they will lead and influence with and without a title, even though they might not be called supreme commanders guaranteed with the right environment, they will act like one.